What's up, YouTube? Eugene here, joined by my fellow perfume snob, Christo. And we've got first impressions today from January Scent Project, which is an indie niche brand started up by John. How would you? Yeah, John Beeble, Fragrantica author, photographer, I think he is. He's, yeah, and he's one of the people who has been very supportive and active in the uh, YouTube fragrance community. Although as far as I know, he's never reviewed like visually, like on YouTube, but he's been following me for, I'd say at least eight years, maybe even longer. Like I remember him long before he was ever on for, or that I recall him being on Fragrantica. So he started his own brand. I, I guess he's a self-taught perfumer, mm -hmm. you know, I, it would sound like it. Um, I know little, like I said, I, I've known him, you know, through Facebook and stuff for years, but, um, I don't know much about his experience and it's the brand's been around for five years. It's saying, so that's interesting. So these had shown up around Christmas time and I was waiting for you to come so we can do this together. And he was doing a giveaway on Fragrantica. He hosted a giveaway and all you had to do was comment and say, enter me. And I had never had a Fragrantica account like all these years. So I purposely had to open one that same day just really? to enter in the I giveaway. I was really curious account. about, no, I didn't have So a, you were just looking as a guest when you were uh, like Every searching. single I time, didn't know yeah. That. So I opened my own account um, under Eugenius and he was giving away 10 sample packs I guess he had awarded them to 10 different people. And then he had contacted me after separately and said, listen, I've, I've given away 10 packs. I saw that you were entered. If uh, you still want them, I can send you um, a package. And I thought that was great that he, he actually gave, you know, he awarded the 10 people and then myself on top of that. And uh, I, I appreciate it. Thank you, John. So we'll rip into this. Kind of hoping there. So I know of the brand. I've known of the brand for a few years. Um, and we were just kind of doing some quick research. I like the bottles. I like the presentation. They've got interesting names. I'm going to admit I haven't delved far enough into... Wow, that's nice. It's actually um, like... Uh, let's see. Let's get a glare. It's a little bit of light. It's actually like... Uh, You know, uh, what would you say, personalized? Yeah, it's not just it's something random. Yeah, it's not like a box of, uh, stuck with some sample. Oh, and there's even a nice a little personalized message. I don't know if you want to read it out or just show it off, but he does mention your name. Oh, there's something else in there. Oh, there's just like a blot. It right just there. basically says, greetings, best wishes from Rhode Island. Um, enjoy your samples, John. Oh, cool. Perfect. And there's even blotters. Oh, personalized blotters. Yeah, cool. There's a little like business card. That's pretty cool. And then an actual blotters with the branding. And then um, looks like some cards with, um, oh, cool. So, okay, let's hang on to these. Let's, it's, it looks like some money's gone into yeah, these. Yeah, yeah, like, re like real thought and, you know, investing in a. It looks like some kind of abstract art on these cards. And I know, you know, just following John on Facebook or, or in, um, for great so you can tell he's, he's very artistic and even the, um, the, the paper has got, Oh, yeah, sprayers. Perfect. Do. Yeah. Just from the weight, I would have guessed they were, but you can never tell until you open them up and they look like really well, well done. You know, yeah. they've, you've got January scent project labeled on the atomizers. And these are honking. They've got to be at least two, two and a half mil. I can't yeah, see. I'd but... say they're, yeah, I'd say maybe a bit more, but I don't see the number. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total. So you want to use the cards or you want to use the blotters? Let's use blotters, regular okay. blotters. But I'm sure each card is, is there's a card for each fragrance kind I'm of a, describing kind of guess, what it yeah. is. is that yeah, what... and there's notes and stuff. So do you want to just start with this one? Yeah. First one you got in your hand. It is. Now, 
I'm gonna butcher. I know it. the names are kind of difficult for to pronounce. Here, try that. I don't even know. Didn't you diss it? Didn't you diss it? Didn't you diss it? Didn't you okay, diss it? let's call it didn't you diss it. Do you want to hear the notes or do you want to try to guess them? Let's, you, let's you try, try and guess. Are you, are you reading them? I am. So I'm going to get you to try to call some. And then you can do the next one. We'll take turns embarrassing. Floral ourselves. leather. Wow, yeah, I smell a lot of frogs. Quite green. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a, a pungent punch to this. It's quite green, mossy. You're nailing them pretty consistently. What's the pungent aroma? Mm, it's it's something that borders animalic. There's something very civet. Much. Whatever it is, it's not a cheap synthetic ingredient. It, it smells of. There's a of note quality. that really stands out here that often is labeled as animalic. It's not necessarily it's not animalic Castorium, directly, it? but it's, it's it's a result uh, of whatever it is. It's really let good. Let me try. Let me try. It almost smells like a sheep, bro. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I like that. That's interesting. Do you want to know what it is? Go ahead. Okay, so we've got, and this is just, there's no top, be middle, some base. Forest root in here. Um, bergamot rue, which I'm not sure what that is. Narcissus, which I get a heck of a lot. Jasmine. Caramel, which I don't overly get caramel. No, it's not very sweet. Like, I'm not sure in which way he, he, mm -hmm. he could he be wants somewhere to in the base. Caramel, but. Um, celery seed, which I get. Ocean Accord, which I can see. Oak moss. Amber. I'm going to skip this and I'll come back to it. Patchouli, vetiver, and the one that I think you're picking up is the animalic note, beeswax. Okay. I wouldn't have guessed beeswax. I don't think I would have either, but it makes sense when I see it here, if that, if you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. You know, so like what's that, the one that you skipped? Beeswax. Okay. So it's kind of like that abs um, absolute pour le soir, you know, right. kitty litter, you know, kind of dirty waxy. Yeah, I can see. It's, I think it, you know the celery seed. I think I picked that that's up. That's kind of what throws you off. It's it, it adds kind of a fresh, fresh accord without mm -hmm. making it boring. And so apparently the translator in parentheses is sea flowers. So dinu disit or whatever yeah. is probably some term oh. language for sea flower. I don't know. I'd really like to know what it inspired the names behind these because I know they are quite quite like out there okay okay here. you do so what's, i like that what's the next one? yeah i like it too i need so to the, give the, it a little bit more the next try. one is selperniku selperniku okay here you take that and i'll i'll embarrass myself with this one all right we'll take turns wow the notes list oh. is really uh Really impressive. Wow, I'm not really getting anything that stands out on this one. Wow. Okay. Um, there's something kind of waxy and plasticky. Man, I'm struggling with this one. Sorry, right. give it a go. Nothing is like <laughs> jumping out at me. Is it very abstract? It's just like, like, it smells like a lot of things coming together to smell like one thing. Where the other one, as soon as you smelled it, or sprayed it, I could smell flowers. Like instantly, like florals. This to me is a very floral composition. Really? Yeah. I find it more fresh and clean. Almost, uh vegetal yeah i i agree that with that and that's funny i don't see anything on here that could be that would give it that vegetal i find it like it almost smells like again like some kind of like exotic um laundry detergent or like fabric softener or something hmm. 
Now, All right. I you honestly, want the notes? I can't, yeah, right, I here's honestly the notes. can't pick anything out. So of the these. accords are salt, milk, and fruit. What? And then the notes are apricot, immortelle, butter, cardamom, <laughs> pedigrain, chamomile, milk, cypress, juniper, tobacco, and sandalwood. Man, I don't get <laughs> any of that. Wow. Well, maybe like. Wow, no, I, I don't, don't get a whole lot of that either. Okay, so I, I, I definitely didn't swing and miss too bad on that. Here, okay, what do you think of this? It's interesting. It's just from what I know, here, or from what I've more. seen. Yeah, this is one of his most popular really? offerings. Well, at least this this name kind of stands out more than the others. See again. Like the last one, I got like some sweet woods in the first couple seconds, and then it's just like gone immediately. It, it, like this, co sweet coffee or something, but then it's just gone. This one seems like it sits closer to the skin. Yeah, yeah. Than it would be. It smells uh, more of like, yeah, like a surrounding rather than notes making up a fragrance. That's really weird. I, I can't say I dislike it, but it's just, it's really thrown me. I have to agree. I don't. I can't pick up a whole lot. Like it, it seems like everything's really tight and and wound, interwoven mm -hmm. really closely together. Yeah. But it's interesting, nonetheless. Yeah. It is. But I yeah, think it's, it is it's unique. Hard for me to pull. Yeah. You know what? I can just from from what's it called that Serge Luton's, the one that smells like bread. Jeu de Pau. Jeu de Pau. There's mildly. There's things in here that are mildly reminiscent of that which could be milk and stuff, but still, it's very, very far cry. Okay, okay so I'll spray Bervuvu. Ber, ber yeah, I got that on ber top. Vuvu. Okay, now this has got so a weird image on it. This is a very dark perfume. Like, it's almost... It's brown. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure this will stain your white-collared shirt. There's some, and there's a couple very strange notes. I'm in guessing there. just by the looks of that that this is a really dark Shebra. Hmm. Or Oriental. Yeah. Smoky. I'm going to guess Benzoin. But there's something very industrial in here. Something that reminds me of, not quite, but turpentine. Yeah, I can kind of, I'm picking that up, wafting over here. Do you want to know what's in the parentheses? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Cedar, amber, and spice. Okay. So it's an oriental. All I get really is smoke and what I perceive to be benzoin. Uh, almost a little bit rubbery and leathery as well. So there's no... With something a little bit fresh in the back, like a eucalyptus -y okay, aspect to it. Yeah, I agree with you. Good call. Yeah. Um, interesting. So, yeah, I think what you're referring to is a geranium. So, geranium's the top list, which I'm going to guess just means it's in the opening. Um, but yeah, there's geranium, tons of cedar, Canadian white cedar, red cedar, Texas cedar, mm. rose, patchouli, ginger, amber, Tonkin musk, mushroom, henna, basil, basil, honey, and castorium. Wow. Okay, so so I, I think the geranium I really pick up. I might have not interpreted it as geranium. But it does remind me of some geraniums I've smelled before. It's a little bit vegetal and earthy as well. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting. So if you look at the picture, there's like the wood and mushrooms yeah, that's, growing out That's of it. kind of exactly the color I get from this. Like what you see on the card is the color I, 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 I smell when I'm mm -hmm. perceiving it. But I like it. It's, uh, it's interesting. It's unique. Yeah, I and I'm that. really surprised that you know the quality of these. Yeah, it's it's good for a um, a niche indie, you know, as far as we know, self taught. Yeah, I get the ginger geranium. 
Rose. Yeah. These names are really, like, they're out there. I'd love to know the background story on these. All right, you ready for the next yeah, one? Yeah, what, here, let so me So this do is the, your turn? Yeah. What do you got there? Ida Randler. <laughs> Ida Randler. Okay. Ida Randler. All right. Very green. So I'm, I'm noticing kind of a pattern with Ooh. the color of the fragrances. I like that a lot. Yeah, I do too. Um, Old school classic masculine. Yeah. There's florals in this, a lot of florals. And not like, it's not rose. No. It's not white florals. I'm getting leather. I'm going to say it's iris or again, oris. There's something buttery in this, like very buttery. Yeah. Very, very buttery. Okay, I'm going to give you the notes. Something kind of animalic. What's in the parentheses under the Ivy name? Fougere. Ivy Fougere. Okay. Okay, what's in it? What do we got? Lavender, green leaves, moss, pink pepper, lavandin, champa leaf, ivy, alemi, fir cone, hay, oak wood, cashmere, vetiver, and musk. Cashmere must be the leather. What was what was the second or third one? Lavender, green lavender, leaves, lavender. moss. Yeah, lavender is the creaminess that I get out of that. Yeah, the lavender pops in this. Mm -hmm. It's a very uh, textured lavender. Very well done. I like that. I I don't know if I I'd like say I like too. it the most, but it. Uh, what was the first one that was good? The first one right out of the gate was good. The denudicit. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, so um, you want to pick one? My turn. So let's do a uh, or your turn, I guess. Serus, Saren. Sorry, Saren. All right, Saren, and it's. Kind of a yellowish lemony color and yeah i'm guessing it's going to be a fresh oh wow interesting okay whoa this is very smoky and like burning i get like burning plastic some green in the back yeah. Weird. Very industrial. So there's not many notes on here, and the parentheses is just incense perfume. Hmm. So you there's one note that is very green. Two notes. One no okay, another second note that can be green. Uh one note that you've not come close to, and then the incense. There's only four notes in this one. I'm seeing greens and I'm seeing yellows. Let me sniff it. If it's if the third if the fourth you pretty much got three or four notes. There's some spice in there. Okay, I do recognize the fourth note, but I think if you weren't looking for it, you might not pick it up. I don't know. It gives it a bit of the sweetness. So there's marigold, which is the green note, which, which I don't I think never you would, would have yeah, you never that. would guess that. Um, sage, which can be kind of green, fresh, green, clean. Um, incense, and the fourth note, any guesses? It Lavenum. gives it a bit of the sweetness. No, it's not it's a... It's not um, a patchouli. No. It's... Almost I guess like a leather. It's technically a floral, I guess. All right, go spit it out. Uh, heliotrope. Yeah, no. No, See, I again, never... I can pick it up because I read the notes, but I can kind of get it in there. Even with, you know, you telling me heliotrope, I, I can't. I can't pick it up. They're, it's very smooth. Yeah, I like that. It's not quite as incense as I would have guessed. It's it's more floral, which I guess, you know, Marilyn You know, once you said incense, and I, yeah. I could then see it, but it's not something that I picked up right away. Okay, two left. All right. This is, is it? Smolder, Smolderose. 
So I'm going to guess there's rose and something burning or incense-y. Smolder. Yeah, it kind of gives it away right in the name. This, this one's going to be... Can you hold that? Just hold that. Oh, shit. Yeah. No. Oh, shoot. Uh -oh. Let's go to the next one. It. Go to the... Spray okay, this one. Okay, so what's the last I'll, one? I'll see if I can kind of repair this. This is that Vaporous Syndrome. Vaporous Syndrome. Okay. I'm not sure what's something. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> wow. The first couple seconds, I swear there's peanut butter in this. <laughs> but it's kind of fading away now. Like, already. Like, uh, almost that peanutiness that you get out of... What's that Lardisan? Wafarine. Yeah. But it's kind of disappearing now. A lot of florals. I'm going to so guess Scott, there's the jasmine. The there's a lot of green in the photo. I'm going to guess there's jasmine because I get kind of like an industrial paint kind of thing that I get from some jasmines. Oh. Did you get any oud? It's got agar as a note. Okay, I can... Maybe if it's more of a medicinal one, maybe that's the kind of paint thing I'm picking up. But like... Wood spice floral vapor. Hmm. Is there anything that could be so reminiscent of peanuts? Lilac, green leaves, apple, turmeric... Black pepper, yon, jonquil, mahogany, cedar, agar, davana, black currant, cumin, coffee, sandalwood, ambergris. Wow. Man, you go at this? I don't pick up any of that or very little of it. It's very green and Spray it again and, and tell mossy. me you don't get something like that boifarine in the very opening. Because I was like, all I could smell was like peanuts, like crushed peanuts. No? I can see what you mean. It's, it's, yeah, it is kind of like nutty. Yeah. And like I even hazel smelled, nutty, maybe. I, even I don't get the sweetness from the peanut. Benzoin or, or sorry. But I, I like this a lot. This is very interesting. Very green and, and earthy. Is this it? No, it's that one there. Oh. It's very unique. I, I don't, I don't think I've smelled anything quite like it. No, I don't know what Jonquil is or Jonquil. Man, I swear I get peanuts out of this Devana either. I don't know what it is. Interesting. Turmeric. Okay, did you uh, get that one? I is think it? so. Okay, so this, this will be is yours. Smolder Dose. Smolder Dose. All right. Okay, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. This one sounds really good. I, you know, because I've seen the notes now, oh, right. it's, it's, but it, it smells almost like a, a, a honey or a fruity rose. Yeah, I can smell a, the rose. A little here. bit of a, I don't get as much smoke as I thought because of the note, um, the name, but yeah. smolder, but it's almost like a watery rose in the way that Serge Luton's, uh, some just. Mm -hmm. like the green that's kind of yeah green watery rose that's that's kind of the first thing that comes to my mind yeah i get that there's now, like a fruity apricot or the roasted seashells i don't know what a roasted seashell is or if that's just a term bird. but so rose bergamot saffron roasted seashells frankincense i do get a smoky quality out of it but it is also green and wet elderflower patchouli cade agar and labdanum. I like this a lot. You know what? I'm going to say, to be honest, I think I would be more likely to wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. Than any other one? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd wear it to work because of that kind of strong rose aspect. And I try to kind of keep it pretty 
unisex at work, but would, would I you, like this. Would you say it's more of a picture perfect rose or an abstract no, rose? No, abs. Well, uh, I yeah, think the rose hovers. note's easy to yeah. identify, but what's around it is pretty abstract. I like that. That's my favorite. I'm going to say that's my favorite. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I think it's a unique take on a note that's been done to death in the last kind of five, yeah, ten years. It's, it's like every house is releasing. I like you know, that. That's two, my favorite. Roses. Um, I, I, I'd have to go through them, but there are several that I liked. Shall we move on to the uh, the next packet, or did you want to kind of have a look and see which one? Here, do you want to? That was the first one. Dinu Disit. That's the, what is it? S Selpernica. That's the mushroom one. I like, th I like this one. It's very leathery now. And that's the Eider. Green and leathery. Eiderant leather. This one's nice as well. I like that too, but I think the last one is my favorite. Oh, that one's so peanutty, man. Like, that's so peanutty. It's not even hazel. Yeah, this is it's nice so as well. Too. I think I prefer all these That's to the one that you prefer. Really? The rose one? Yeah, this one's really good as well. I like that rose a lot, actually. All right. Awesome. Okay. All right, John. Thank you so much. Uh, viewers, let us know if you've smelt anything from January Scent Project. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.